I reckon we should eat hobos. People who don't pay tax should be punished and eaten. If I don't know them, I don't care really. Dude, I'm getting real, real <laughs> evil vibes from you, brother. Eh? Like I wanna like not, but you're giving me serial killer vibes, bro. Eh? Should we eat a koala? Nah, mate. Why not? They're cute, mate. They're cute. Yeah, wouldn't eat one. But I reckon they taste a bit eucalyptusy. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, what about kangaroos? Would you eat a kangaroo? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Why? I reckon the meat would be tender. So it's about the taste for you? Yeah. So it's not about the animal really? Yeah, no, nah, not really. What other animals do you eat? Chicken, beef, a bit of everything. Beef is not an animal. Oh, well, cows. A cow? Yeah. Would you eat a dog? Uh, nah. Uh, here we go, now we've hit the spot. So koala, maybe not because of the taste, but why not a dog? Um, I reckon they could be treated as a pet. Like, you can't really have a cow in your backyard. Why would you mor give moral consideration to a dog? Like, why would you care about that being? Because they have so motion. About... And... Okay, motion? Yeah. Okay. What other property do they have that you consider morally important? Um, you can, they're like a companion, where, like, you can walk them, do the thing, kind of like a cat. Like, I wouldn't eat a cat. Do you believe they are conscious beings? Oh, uh, yeah. And they have their own experiences? Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they want to avoid suffering and they like uh, yeah. to be comfortable. So, what about, what other animals? But what if, about a if, cow? If you ate a dog, I wouldn't consider it wrong. Like. What you, would you consider cutting their head off wrong? Um, the dog? Because, yeah, eating for is eating one thing. Purpose, yeah, for of course. Purpose, so yeah. It's, is it wrong to cut the dog's head off for eating purposes? Uh, yeah, if you, if you wanted to feed, yeah. If you just wanted to feed, it's okay, okay to kill the dog? Yeah. Okay. What about what do you think? Do you agree with them? Well, for one, koalas are endangered, right? Yeah. That's all that comes down to what, what you should Okay, eat. what about if I farm them? You farm them. So they're no like, longer endangered. I feel like for the children, like for like, it just wouldn't be a outlook that people want. Is this a, eating like well, cuddly, I'm asking for a, cute uh, things. Uh, just because they're cute, I mean, some people are less cute than others. Yeah. Does that mean we can kill the less cute people? No. Okay. That's really I'm asking question, for why, why we have a moral consideration for this animal. I mean, you're saying because yeah. they're an icon or they're fluffy and they're cute. Okay, so but what I'll, about intrinsically, like inside of them? Right, so if they're not endangered then? I don't see a problem. Cutting koalas' heads off is fine if we farm them. If they are, yes, if they're not endangered. And, and we're using them in the same purpose of, say, cows or pigs or sheep. Okay. Yeah. And let me ask you this. What about humans? Can we do that to humans? I would say no because we all are a lot more... Um, we're the top of the food chain and it should stay that way. We have the power of, like, mentality. Like, we can... With the dominant over, one? Yeah, yeah, with the dominant one. Like, we should not okay. be... Wow, wow. Yeah. So that makes it... A, so do you, have you ever heard might makes right? No. So if we're dominant, yeah. well, but not all humans are dominant, right? No. So we can actually target vulnerable people, enslave them and kill them for meat, right? Mm -hmm. Because we are, there are more dominant humans than others. Mm. Children are less dominant, they're, they're vulnerable. Yes. So your argument kind of contradicts itself in the human race, doesn't it? It comes oh. in also as, well, food there is for a reason. And if it came down to it, I'd eat a koala over a human. Come on, sir. Off topic, you're trying to avoid that topic. You said because we're dominant, we can't yeah. do it to other humans. Yeah? yeah. True? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I said there are humans who are less dominant than other yeah, humans. Does yeah, that yeah, give us yeah. the right? Um, I'm saying that you, you stopped at human there. I feel like humans um, humans all together is one thing, I feel. More it's a, it's a, what, what, what do you mean? I feel what like gives us importance? This. 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 We build, we build we have, this. You we build, yeah, you didn't. No, but humans If you can't do. build a building, right, yeah, kids humans, can't. Mate. Kids yeah, can't. but they can grow up to build one. No, not all people have the capacity to. We have the function oh. of... We'll, we work for tax, we work for the government, yeah. we so work, you, we make the don't. system, we make the system. What if we didn't? I reckon we should eat hobos. Or so you should humans. eat some humans? Uh, yes. That are, so we should eat vulnerable humans, like homeless people? Yes, I reckon people who don't pay tax should be punished and eaten. What if they don't, they, they're born in some situation where they can't? Well, we give them, we give them a certain amount of time to kick themselves up. Okay, so you're okay with eating koalas? Yeah. One, and people? Yeah. Alright, and you? People yeah, and same. koalas? Yeah, same. Okay. Cannibals, so you uh, two Jeffrey Dahmers in the making? Yeah. And you? 100%. Do what you feel, we're all gonna die anyway, what's the matter? So just do whatever you feel like? Good up. You, I don't say, care, don't bother me. Have you heard Alistair Crowley? He was the no. founder of the Satanist movement? No, hasn't he bothered said, my life, has not changed wilt. my life. Have you heard that yeah. phrase? Do as thou wilt. Yeah. That's an Alistair Crowley phrase to say. But, um, yeah. so, it's a Satanist, I'm saying. So if yeah, I'm a Satanist. I know this, That's I know a Satanist this. principle, it's like, do as thou wilt. So, it doesn't bother me. I, I know okay. this, this is a vegan thing. So but, even um, like abusing people, killing people, if it feels good to you, if you've got some sick urge, do as you do as our If will. I don't know them, I don't care really. Okay. Um, All right then. But, um, cold. Is this a, Cold. So, You're a gangster, brother. I don't give a that fuck. is gangster. You don't care it's about my people. family. I don't give a 
what if it was your family? But you said do as thou wilt. If someone did that to your family, well then, then yeah, it's a bit different. Why is it different? Because but you're saying do as thou wilt to other families. Oh well, yeah, then I will care. Oh, if, if it's but, um, to my family, if. It matters we, only when it happens to us, that's if, all I'm saying. Um, if we didn't really, have... Like, if we're the we koala... We're living for ourselves. If we didn't kill chickens for eating... Not everyone, man. If we didn't kill chickens... I don't think like that, man. If we didn't kill chickens for eating, well, where are they going to live? Like, they're, chi- they're farmed. Yeah, but ch- chickens are outnumber us one... It's human intervening. Three to one. It's human intervening breeding, is what well, I'm saying. Well, chickens and cows over koalas, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. They, they, well, they selectively know. bred these species but over time to so serve what, a purpose. No, this is the world I was born in. I've got to deal with it. So, um, yeah, but you don't have to follow everything in the world, but, um, man. I'm not going to change anything. You, you can. Uh, you can make differences. You can make differences in your own life. I'm not but, wasting um, my life making a difference. I'm just going to die and it's not going to matter to me anyway. Yeah, but for the people that are here and the animals that are here when you die, it's good to leave a good legacy behind. A positive one for them. them. But, um... Yeah, I mean that's a self-centered sort of worldview. But yeah, chickens, change. chickens outnumber us three to one. And You're a nihilist, brother. Do you know the word nihilist? No, nope, don't know anything. So chickens outnumber us three to one. Who cares anyway? Well, that's not going to matter in the end. Nope. Yeah. Um, chickens outnumber us three to one. Where'd you get that number from? It's actually ten to one. Ten to one chickens. They murdered. Uh, I think they murder about between sixty and eighty billion chickens a year. So sixty and eighty, and if we didn't. If we didn't kill them, so what, we're going to breed them and then... No, they're, they're breeding them into existence to kill them. If you stop the breeding yeah. process, they stop becoming in, in, so then, into well, existence. We're just going to just get rid of chickens. Well, it, it, is, the, as you're saying. Well, like, jungle fowl in, the, in nature leave them as they are, but I'm talking about, yes, mass breeding and exploiting animals is a moral abomination. Just like if I took your genes and your genes, started splicing humans together in some farm and they're sentient yeah. conscious beings, they don't want to die, they feel suffering, feel start like growing that's... food off of people, it's a moral issue then. That's just evolution of the human culture what and what's going to come to. Is like, it... we're going to have to, like, futurise everything that we have, right, eventually. Or as we're going to stay we evolve the past, like, the cruelty and killing, though? Yeah, but what, what are we going to evolve to? Veganism. Everyone. Everyone in the world's going to well, evolve no, to the figurism. Ones you can. You've got to keep the ones who can, the you can be vegan right now. Bang. You've got to keep balance in yeah. the world. I feel like what it all comes killing down. is about. Nah, I don't know. That. It don't all know comes down to the vote. Just be of, all good. It all, same with the quality. It comes down to the vote. Good. Dude, I'm getting real, real evil vibes from you, brother. Hey, eh? like I want to like not, but you're giving me serial killer vibes, bro. Eh? Like, you know, you're saying it can't be all good, like, we've got to have some mass so, killing. How long are you Do been, as thou wilt. Have you been vegan your whole life? <laughs> you know, well, is look, that... Mass killings, well, look, we had Port Arthur and everywhere. now there's no guns in Australia, it's, so... It's, it's very good. I don't know, it maybe know. it does do good. No, I don't killing. know what I'm talking about, yeah. <laughs> well, Port I mean, Arthur so happened and now we don't have well, gun laws. Animals Not killed. saying it's good, but... I mean, I don't know if it's very good Everything in the logic, world happens. Yeah. But Nothing's a good logic. Have you been vegan your whole life? Absolutely not. Oh, you've been. What made you change? I didn't think it was morally justified. I thought it felt like a hypocrite. I was saying, well, I care about dogs and whales and dolphins, the animals that society tells me to care about, but there's no morally significant difference between those animals and the animals that I eat and stab and kill, pay for people to stab and kill on my plate. I felt like it was wrong, and I, I come from a past of violence and gangs, and I didn't want to hurt people or animals anymore. I thought if I live consistent as I can in a horrible world that we live in, then I'm setting a good example for others. But if, if we didn't kill them, like, they, they wouldn't serve as much of a purpose. Who cares who serves? Like, you know, that's a... Think about that argument in the human context, right? Yeah. You're only there for my purpose. But I'm saying... But let's say the purpose is wrong. Of course it's wrong. It's horribly wrong but, decapitating animals. If what, you're the animal, we went, ask if it's wrong when you're the animal because it's easy to look for our lens and see, human's lens. See how you say that, but the animal can't... Doesn't, like, can't talk, can't... You know what I mean? Some like, humans can't. Can we kill them? I've got... The but if they're a pedophile, I would kill them. Oh, yeah, but they've done something. They're doing something wrong to children. But I'm saying that animals did nothing wrong. Chicken did nothing wrong. But chickens, like what you said, outnumber us, and we'll, so they're just going to live in the wild, and we'll because have chickens we and cows. Because we forcibly bring them into existence to outnumber us, and it doesn't matter if they outnumber us. They're not harming anyone. But so what, we're just going to have chickens and we cows. We are the harmers. We're going to have chicken and cows just walking around. No, that's not how it's going to work. These animals we because created. If, but if we didn't have farms, brother, if we didn't where have do farms, these animals come from? Um, breeding on farms. Selectively bred animals. They're not from nature, these animals. They're derived originally from nature, nature yeah. but they've been selectively bred for, to grow mil- meat off their bones or uh, milk. What about, what about milking? Eggs. What about milking and eggs? Like the, Those industries are riddled with violence and they kill all those animals when they're done with them. But say you had a couple of chickens in the backyard and they grew oh, eggs. Well, that's not what we're talking about, is it? But if we, if you did... Well, that's not what we're talking about. I'm talking about you. You won't even stop it. You would eat a koala. You would eat a human. 
Yeah, if, if it came You want to do what you want. <laughs> I'm getting doors, scared of you. I, I was at the other chores chopping their heads off. Were you? Did there. you work at it on the kill floor? Yeah, I did, but I didn't kill them. Okay. No, what, where, where, what, what kind of abattoir? A beef export. Okay. Killing cows. And what did you think about working there? Like, just... F***ing loud in there, I'll tell you loud. that. Just <laughs> seeing any of the blood, any killing, smell any of the skins and no, entrails? Really, you don't really smell much. It's very air-conditioned, but, yeah, you watch them all hang by the things and all get sliced up down the chain, get dropped down, get sliced again, bagged up and sold. So you they see them after they've been bolt gunned? Yeah. Yeah. They you ever see footage from them like, in the in the No, in that's the it. I was in the boning room which is more after getting they all the cuts. Carcasses. Yeah, not in the slaughterhouse. And that's only certain people are allowed to kill them like yeah, I, I forgot what it was some hell out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh you were it was a it was a hell out slaughterhouse, yeah. okay, gotcha. Anyways, watching the animal in the knockbox about to be bolt gun, they actually are terrified. Mm. They don't know what's necessarily going to happen, but you know they don't want it to happen to them. There's and then no you get to see a... a yeah, they're no, conscious, aren't there's they? There's no proof they're conscious. There's no there's, proof you're conscious. So prove to me you're conscious. There's no proof. I can't. Exactly. I can't. There's no but proof But we, we infer it because you have a brain, eyes, and you react in a way and you just... You, yeah. So we can in, we can infer that from animals there too. There is, but that's where it comes from. Why most people don't like still eat. Everyone, otherwise, everyone would be vegan if we all believed. Or there's all proof that animals did feel pain, like we did the humans, and that was there like. There is proof uh, they do. I feel like majority of people, if you went around and asked more people, they they they, they would say, "Oh, it's just a chicken." Well, that's a lack of education, a, but the yeah, evidence yeah. exists. But that's why people say they're only a small animal. But what's but, the purpose so of a cow? One sec, one sec. Let me finish this yeah. point, and then I want to hear your purpose so of a cow. They say that. People point out purpose? as like a small chicken, right? Like it's just a little chicken. Like who cares yeah. if we eat it? Who cares? But then again, we're saying that yeah, that's a chick. That's conscious chicken. Like it feels the same pain as us and all that. So we should value that little chicken a lot more. But we don't. We don't because yeah. that's what majority of people are just yeah uneducated yeah, people. Side, yeah. I guess. And I wasn't educated. Yeah, this. exactly. It took me a little while to wake up. I knew animal cruelty was wrong, but I didn't really understand yeah, why it, I exactly, knew that. Exactly. Yes. Because there's a real deeper meaning. And if you look at it from the human context, like doing mm. what we do to chickens, to people, yeah. then you can't understand, well, wait a second, they've got personalities, they don't want to die, they feel... all these reasons that we should value, because yes. we don't want what it done to ourselves. Again, yeah. But it's like, then again with like the other thing or I our said families, before. like I said, if it's my family, it would be on war. But chickens ain't hurting my family, they're not doing nothing wrong to us. We have no reason to do it to them. But, so well, we got reasons, but no justification. Exactly, you know I, mean? so, I see what you mean. So exactly. if, if a cow... So if a cow, if we didn't kill cows at all for me, and everyone on the earth was vegan, yeah. the cow's purpose is to what? Cut your grass. What is your purpose, mate? Hash, wash it. So this is where you get into the oppressor mentality. If you don't serve a purpose for the oppressor, your life doesn't matter. And that's that's like underpinned in every single atrocity, human atrocity you can think of. They don't matter. Let's enslave them and get us to, to do their work, and then we'll kill them. Uh, they don't matter, let's gas chamber them. They don't matter, let, let's uh, do whatever we want to, whoever we want, but that's not what human rights or animal rights are. Because to serve a purpose is, to, us serving a purpose is not like a cow's, cow's purpose. Like, you cannot... Who dictates like, what a cow's purpose is? Um, the one who wants to cut them up and eat them? Yeah. That sounds not, pretty unfair. But you're motivated. The, the whole word fair doesn't like a cow can't understand like a cow. So you basically get into a tricky territory because the babies can't understand what's fair. Neither can uh, dogs, and neither can uh, people with severe handicap. Mm. We protect them because they're vulnerable. Yeah. And because they deserve to be protected because they're sentient. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if a cow doesn't grow, understand what's fair. Because a baby will grow up and develop into a human, paying taxes and working jobs. I can ask you this question: Do you think a cow who's about to be shot in the head mm. thinks to themselves, "Oh, this is fair"? Yeah, because yeah, he can't. A cow can't don't think that. You don't think cow, cows have intellectual thought? No. Okay. Well, that intellectual that thought goes pretty things. quick. <laughs> that thought goes things. away pretty so, quick. So, after so they get you shot don't think head. a cow? But they might not think in the same language. What does a dog think when they want something, or when they want to go for a walk, or when they have something that's tasty, or when they want a snack? Does a dog do that? Yeah, in a sense. Oh, why does a dog do it and a cow doesn't? What's the difference? What's, what's a dog's it? more developed than it. It's like you cannot compare a dog to a chicken. Do you have evidence for that? Um, You're just, just making just planes by, without just evidence. By plain so it's the reaction of pets. like being able to train a dog, being able to train a dog, a cow you cannot Simplicity. train. Simplicity. Uh, have you? How do you know that? Because it's no one has a pet cow. Uh, no one. Have this pet is where we're talking about lack no of education can, before. No, Remember how no, we're talking yeah. about lack of education, and you just said it about consciousness. Yeah. You're doing it now with intelligence. Yeah. But let's just say you're all right. Cows are stupid. You can't train them. Mm. Right. But, what matters is their sentient. Do you know the difference between intelligence and consciousness? 
yeah? Yeah, still they're feeling... Intelligence is like a computer. Yeah. Consciousness is your experience. Yes. You're, you're a subject in their suffering and yeah. experiencing well-being. You don't have to be super intelligent, and we don't even have that moral metric for human beings, do we? We don't say, oh, they're smarter, leave them alive. They're actually mentally handicapped, let's kill them. Because that's what Hitler did. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. What, do you think that was wrong? Yeah. Hitler killing disabled people? Because they he thought, felt they were defective and not part of the superior race? Yeah, but... So you're comparing farmers to Hitler? Uh, that's that's a cheap cop out. That's not exactly that's not what I said. The similar mentality yeah. that Hitler had, where he used to justify killing disabled people in gas chambers, was they're not superior. Is the same mentality that you're using to justify killing animals that you don't think are as superior as you in their intelligence. That's the same metric. Yeah. But now I, I can compare any two things I want. I'm not saying that they're, they're, they're exactly the same thing, which is equating. Yeah. But I'm saying they're comparable in your mentality. No, I'm not saying chickens are the same as people either. I didn't say that. Yeah. Yeah. The mentality is the same. All right, I, I'm gonna make uh, a move. Cheers, mate, brother. Did you learn something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah. worries, brother. And you? Yeah, hope you yeah. hope you find a bit more positivity, my friend. I feel no. like you might be a little bit nihilistic yeah, and, and no, lost hope in the world. Don't want to find a good steak now. Oh God. Yeah. God, please help us all. What is the reason that you don't eat animals? Are it's you saying no plants sentience. don't have brains? <laughs> or insects Are you don't serious, have brains? Bro? You don't have to keep going. I'm not. I'm stupid. Just, just, My brother, this is hilarious. But no, it's not I'm hilarious. Sorry. It's just, just why do you eat you? certain insects that are sentient and have consciousness? What do you mean? Are you a troll? Is he mucking around? What?